in Denver, Colorado for our annual RSN Summit. Brent Acosta with SVG. Have the pleasure now to be joined by Doug Johnson from AT&T Sportsnet in Pittsburgh. Doug, always a good to see you. Always a pleasure to see you at this event. We really appreciate the support. Yep, anytime. Love being here. Now, uh, you guys have got some pretty exciting stuff going on in Pittsburgh right now. Your network specifically working on a, uh, a, a new facility, changing things uh, you know, kind of under the hood for your company. Uh, what's that look like, and uh, what's kind of the details of when you think that thing might be up and running? Yeah, looking right now, we're working real heavily on a brand new studio. We're about the six-year mark of our existing studio. Still love it. Uh, it's going to be hard to get rid of it. Um, but right now we're working on a timeline over the course of the summer to build out a brand new sta uh, state-of-the-art facility. So we're really kind of, we've had some talent that have come in and really kind of challenged us of what, you know, different next generation of uh, demo stuff. So uh, we're looking at uh, building out some state-of-the-art demo walls, uh, demonstration areas, also working with uh, companies like VizRT uh, to sort of do that sort of immersion technology where you have, uh, you know, putting talent directly into game broadcast, things like that, the sort of that next level of, of demonstration stuff. So that's what this is going to be about. It's going to be about sort of taking the fans more into the game. Uh, and like I said, we're looking to pro uh, hopefully launch uh, by start of NHL for that. Okay, that sounds really, really cool, obviously, in the studio, pregame, postgame environment. Uh, uh, as far as the live games are concerned, uh, anything new that you guys are trying, or in what ways are you trying to, even if it's kind of behind the, behind the hood, techie kind of stuff, uh, in what ways are you kind of revolutionizing the in-game experience and how you guys are producing live games? Uh, we love the techie stuff. So, <laughs> the, uh, the something we've been doing for about two or three years now, and now our Seattle office is doing as well, is we're remoting into the scorebug. I mean, anybody that works in sports production knows that the scorebug is on the air more than anything else. And unfortunately, over the you know since the existence of the scorebug, the priority in a lot of visiting cities, especially being on the road, the visitor, is the scorebug operators sometimes aren't you know at the par that you expect them to be, especially in a sport like baseball where you have to do upwards of 800 you know key clicks in a game, and you have to be right 800 times. <laughs> So, you know, we've run into some issues before. So we started experimenting like three years ago with some technology where we could go back to our studio. The score bug still exists in the truck on site, but we're remoting into that truck and we're using our home operators, folks that know us, know our shows, know what the score bug can do and what we expect. And it's been amazing. We've used technology with um, folks like TVU this year um, that we've met here. And, you know, we're doing quad splits, sending feeds back to them. So they, these folks are literally sitting in cubes in our office and it looks like the regular score bug. They've got a quad split of, you know, game camera, pitch camera, camera two, um, the, the jumbotron so you can see the count, the bullpen, um, and they're also seeing game programs, so there's, and there's zero latency. So, I mean, this has been a great uh, setup for us. Our score bug usage uh, from home and, and, and road is no different now, so we'll be able to get all that output uh, out of that as well. So that's really one of the big things we've been working on and really kind of perfected, and now more and more of our regionals are doing it. All right, Doug, you guys are always doing some really great stuff, so thanks for being here, and thanks for sharing your expertise with us and our audience. Anytime. All right, for more coverage of everything going on here at, the sec uh, at our annual RSN Summit, you can visit us online at sportsvideo.org.